Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I welcome you all in this lecture. Today we are going to discuss about the continuation and uh, about the role of gene of my interest words in vegan essay. Basically this lecture is in continuation to what we have studied earlier regarding the generation of transgene cell lines and then we are w trying to in to decipher the role of my gene of interest towards invasion and the example we have quoted earlier was RAS right so uh, what I did earlier was I uh, generated three cell lines in which there is a forced expression of RAS and these cell lines in which the RAS force expression is being notified is called MCF7 cells where I have induced a forced expression right and there are certain cells in which there is a RAS expression already present and I have knocked them out the expression of RAS gene from that part so those knockouts were done in MDA231 right so for invasion assay what we need we need a 24 well plate along with the inserts now these small structures tiny little bucket like things are called inserts these are called inserts right now the size of these inserts are 8 micrometer pore size this is what we are talking about the pore size pore size means these inserts contain certain holes over here so that once we seed the cells on the top of these inserts the cells should have a pore to cross and then settle in these wells the wells are 24 well plate okay so let's say the basic framework is but before going into over here let's have a look on the sagittal view and a principle how the biodon chamber are in vnsc works so what you are looking right now is a red bucket from a cross-sectional point of view or a sagittal section what you can rightly say and this green color is the normal media which is present normal medium right so we have normal medium present over here and then uh, let me change it over here for your ace now this is the normal media which is present in green color over here and this is a 24 well plate and in, is initially containing a normal medium present on over here right and suppose there are no red lines what you are seeing in this regard right so this is all just normal media and we soak this each well of our interest which we are going to use with the normal media I have written M over here then the blue line is representing an insert with the black dots pointing out as pores of 8 micron meter in size. The black line inside this insert is composed of matri gel. Matri gel is a product which resembles with extracellular matrix component and it has been dried from a sarcoma cells and it contains ample amount of collagen, fibroblast and other products. And this is just like an assembly in vitro to resemble that the cells contain closely or similar to the natural environment. So the inserts are pre-coated with matri gel and on the top of those inserts we are seeding wild type controller expression cells. Now the number of cells may vary in this regard and generally speaking the cells which you are seeding in over here their number may vary from 45,000 to in some say 0.1 million that is uh, 100,000 and, and exceeding over here so uh, the number of cells may exceed from 45,000 and then so we settle them as day 1 day 2 and day 3 let's say on day 1 we set up this experiment and then we uh, call it as day zero so then the next day if it is Wednesday today so we assume this is day zero next is the Thursday nothing to do Friday nothing to worry about but on Saturday we are going to see how many cells how many these cells travel and come over here now the cells which are uh, crossing these pores 
these black holes will be ideally settling over here settling over here maybe on the top of each other maybe on the membrane once they cross this matri gel they are settling inside the well right then we count the number of cells present in this region count the number of cells present in this region okay so this is the region of my interest so we are going to count those cells and once we are counting with them we are going to make a graph so wild type cells let's say on day third 150 control cells roughly showing the same bar like structure of 150 and in expression we noticed the cell number exceeds from 200 to 200 and uh, let's assume 255 or we can reduce the number to as to a more reasonable number if you you are more peculiar about anything so let's say it is 245 so the numbers may have a tendency to exceed from here and to reduce over here this is called standard deviation we know right so the number of cells present over here exceed and vary so let me change it to 245 so we say that the only difference between wild type and control is the presence of vector cells for wild type and controls no significant difference but vector is staying inert this means vector doesn't contribute any biological advantage or disadvantage to the mcf7 cells while an expression where the rest is present its presence increase the cells invasiveness because the rest of the cells remain the same the only difference is the presence or absence of gene of our interest so upon the induction of RAS more cells cross the basement membrane and they are settling in this region so we say that roughly 200 to 245 number of cells we have noticed in these uh, well bottom okay and this is how we infer this information that RAS has an invasive property and generally speaking so this is how we are doing it so wild type control expression each in independent well the cells are being cultured now wild type control knockout for two three one knockout means the same initial story I have elaborated this is how invasion assay is being performed next essay is about the motility one so if we are talking about the motility essay we are using six wells plate one two three four five six the difference or mentioning of this six well plate is because we want wider wells to see under the microscope that's why we are using a six well plate this is control and this is expression for the gene of interest let's say we are talking about mcf7 cells in motility and over here if we change the color to anyone 231 and we are talking about wild type control of mda mb231 and the knockout of res right this is all the setup we are going to use now the idea of motility essay is that once we have a confluent monolayer formation of the cells in the bottom confluent monolayer cells means the cells present over here doesn't leave any space wide open so let's say the blue color is what i am right right now drying over here are the cells now the cells have covered almost all region present in the bottom right so the whole area is being covered so this is called as monolayer formation so once the monolayer formation is being achieved now assume this as the nucleus so all the cells cover the bottom of the well and once they cover the bottom of the well there is no empty space present and we want to measure that how much cells have an ability to move from one region to another region we intentionally induce a wound the wounding is something which is unique to this essay now this is a wound this is an injury our intentional wound making happening over here so we injure a portion of certain cells the cells in the vicinity may die yeah or remain slough off 
like the cell die it's got cutting into two halves the injury may be induced by any needle or a tip so the cells die then we take an image at zero minutes then 15 minutes 30 minutes 45 minutes 60 75 90 and 120 in some uh, labs the essay would be de defined as zero minutes one hour two hours and three hours generally three sort of readings are being derived from so the idea is to see how much time these cells take how much time the neighboring cells take to cover this gap okay how much time the neighboring cells take to cover the gap now I am taking certain images now the images I am going to take is using an image J software It's the pretty straightforward uh, software and uh, then I'm going to measure the distance and then I'm going to say look for wild type for control and for the gene of my interest which is labeled as expression I have seen there is is there any significant difference that the time let's say the time of these cells to cover the wound is huge or the time influenced by res positive cells is huge who is more quick to bridge the gap that is what I'm going to measure right let me show it to you with a uh, one simple video and uh, the for video let's switch over here to the video yes over here what you are looking right now is the cells now these are monolayer confluent cells these are my essays which I have been done now once the cells are in monolayer formation I induced a wound by a yellow tip then I try to measure the distance of the cells traveling over here to here though if I just forward the video on a quick scale so you can see there is a motility the cells are retracting forward and backward this is another cell line I am trying to induce a wound and then I am going to say how much cells from this part and this part travel to cover this blank area all right so this is how the motility essay looks like this is another version another kind of cells the cells are moving from one portion to another and this is a live recording video over here I have put the slide under the microscope I have put this not the slide the six well plate and I am focusing on one well where the injury has been induced and then I am trying to take images at certain time points all right so this is how the ongoing recording is being moved on see this is how things work now at the end of this essay I have number of pictures present so what I'm going to do I'm going to make a graph let me make a graph over here in a way like this do excuse my notion is pretty simple so let's say this is a wild type and let's change the color for expression and then we have res gene okay and then we say this is y axis and x axis and over here this is the zero time point this is the zero time point and let's say first is 15 minutes then I take an image then I take an image at 30 minutes then I take an image at 45 minutes 60 minutes and it goes on like that so let me extend these lines a bit further so that you can get an idea and what I'm doing right now is a trend passing over here all right so let's make certain time points with a distinctive color over here so at time point zero I induce the wound in these wells and these wells I induced a wound and once the wound is being introduced I take an image and this is the migration rate we can say migration rate so we can say migration okay now at zero time point there is a certain value I have noticed 
and over here this is the time point I'm just labeling over here at 30 minutes and at 45 minutes and then 60 minutes and this is the distance traveled by the cells towards the wound towards the wound this is what I'm trying to measure over here how much distance the cells travel to fill this gap this blue color gap All right so I assume I am intentionally avoiding standard deviation so that you can get an idea from this you see that whatever the numbers are red line is facing a top trend and is going further ahead irrespective of what the blue and green lines are showing that means that the, if this line is representing expression of the gene of my interest which is RAS then the presence of RAS increases the cell motility right that is what we inferred from this essay because once I induced a wound once I induced a wound the cells showing RAS protein are more active to cover the gap and they are more mobile and they influence to bridge this gap in a very effective way so this is how we say that RAF has a uh, increased motility increased expression of RAS increased motility but what we are observing in the remaining two cells in the remaining let's say the green color is showing wild type the wild type and control both these cells do try to cover the bridge gap but their induction is reduced so in the absence of RAS when there is no RAS present when there is no RAS present then the cells have a motility but that is relatively low when compared to RAS positive or overexpression of RAS this is how we infer the role of our gene of interest towards the cell motility so I am leaving one example for you in this regard and I am going to ask you questions like this in the exams as well that how would you infer how would you infer a trend like this how would you infer the trends like this so let's say this is again a RAS molecule and this is a knockout so this is a knockout of RAS and I am labeling it over here and I am saying this is the zero time point this is 15 minutes 30 minutes 45 minutes 60 minutes and the story goes on right so what I want to to know how would you infer does it whether the RAS has any uh, increased motility presence or absence of RAS what you infer from this so write it in the comments and then let me know right thank you very much for your time and attention take care Allah Hafiz